Excuse me. Welcome to Fusachi City. Hi and welcome everyone to another episode of Rosachi's Kitchen. Today I am going to show you how I make my birth loaf. Here are my ingredients. I have a grater and right here is some yeast, a can of evaporated milk, one whole nutmeg, some sugar, and some salt for taste. Three eggs at room temperature. And some lukewarm water. In a bowl for my wet ingredients. Let's start on the wet ingredients first. I want to thank everyone who subscribed to my channel and who made it possible right now for me to reach 700 subscribers. I am so excited, so happy, and thank you to all my fans out there. Thank you everyone who watches my video all the time and share my video, and I thank you guys for your amazing job for watching and sharing and also thank you for subscribing to my channel and congratulations to Fosachi's Kitchen for reaching 700 subscribers Now I am done with the wet ingredients, setting it aside. I am pouring some flour. Now I am done adding all my dry ingredients. I'm going to sift my flour to make sure that there's no um, lumps in the flour. Before I proceed to mix my wet ingredients and my dry ingredients together. And also when sifting your flour before making dumpling or anything else, it really gives your um, whatever that you're making a different texture because of the flour is not all lumpy and stuff. It's very fine. So I truly recommend that you sift up your flour when even making dumplings. So it's a good thing to do. I just wanted to let you guys know know that anyway
Now I am done sifting it. I am adding my wet and my dry ingredients together. Once I'm done adding it, I will pour a little bit of water just to remove the rest of the milk that's in it. And also, this recipe requires you to use your hand to mix it, but I'm not good at it. I will be using uh, this electric mixer and also add water as you go do not add too much water and i will show you the consistency that i am looking for As you can see, the hand mixer is doing a lovely job and I'm pretty sure I couldn't do this job with my hand. Now, my mother-in-law is the brain master behind this recipe and she's the one that knows it and she's checking it out to make sure that it's the right consistency. Now she's going to mix it because she's always be the one making both floats. So, and this is how we want it to be. Now we are done mixing it. We are going to cover it and let it let the yeast do its magic. Now this is how it looks after it being sitting for a while. It double its size. Now it's my mother-in-law who's working her magic. I am not good at this part. This part is her job. Now look at this though, how beautiful, how fluffy. Look, this is the consistency you guys are looking for. Now it's time to fry it. Don't be afraid to add I mean, oil in your pot to fry this dough. You need a lot of oil because you want the dough to be able to come up the oil and to fry. I guess, I don't know if that's the right way for me to say it. But anyway, I cannot do what she's doing. I've tried it multiple times and it didn't work. So she's the one doing it and she's doing a good job at it. Pay attention to the hand movement. Look how she's working it. Look at this. I cannot do that. But anyway, guys, enjoy the video how she's preparing this bow float or puff puff. And also, while you're adding those um, 
babies in the oil, they will turn on their own if you do not add too many of them. But if you do put a lot in the oil, you will have to be the one turning them from time to time. Other than that, they will burn. And you do not want them to be burned. And then the color that you're looking for is also a light, I mean a golden brown color. Then they'll be ready. They are so delicious. And my kids enjoy this lovely treats. Now, here is the time for you to turn them. As you can see, they are looking beautiful already. Nice gold color on them oh my goodness this pastry is so delicious guys especially with coffee or um oatmeal any porridge you have this is a good treat and you also can leave it out for your kids after school this is a wonderful snacks for them now guys the puff puffs are ready and this is the color that you are looking for look how beautiful those are guys thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please take the time and subscribe to my channel for more videos guys and don't forget to follow me on facebook at fb.me slash flossymadeflossachi and this being my pleasure to show you guys how i make my birth loaf and i'll see you on another episode of versace's kitchen see you next time guys